He just equated gun owners to Nazis. Right? And chihuahuas. Sorry, you don't like that. Write it down. We given you. You shouldn't like that. Defending that. that? That's yeah. offensive. Are you defending him. I'm not oh, fighting citizens. Nazis. Please be quiet because this is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a normal term. Please be quiet. This is not a the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights. It's a fire against tyranny. Shh. Doesn't matter why they included it. The question is, do we want it? Do we need it now? And is it relevant to today? Freedom of religion is a man. While you're standing up, I've sat here and I've been here right now, and I would like to agree with the professor. Everyone standing in this room right now, especially the veterans in this room right now, know that we are all Americans. The problem with this country right now is it's us and right. we need to stop this crap. Now, the thing I would like you to answer, sir, and I did go to war for this country. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Whether it was for everyone in here's ability to have oil and gas in their cars or their banks or whatever, I went to war for my country. Thank you. And I went to war for your ability to have the First Amendment to say what you stood up there and said today, write what you want to write in your newspaper, and have whatever opinion you want to have. You can practice whatever religious freedoms you want. I would like you to answer the question, since you just said that one of the rights that I went to war over to defend, that is inalienable to every American citizen, if this discussion was going on about your First Amendment rights, would you still have the same opinion that we don't need that anymore either? You didn't hear my answer. I did hear your answer. You said the Second Amendment no longer matters and we might not need it right now. That's not what I said. The question is you was adopted and I said it doesn't matter what their reasons are what matters is whether or not it's relevant today and that's the answer to it is eternal truth and eternals are truths relevant in all time when they consider any part of the constitution any law they're going to say what does it mean today no 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 is no less than the turn of the century in, the, in 1900, or 1800, or 1700. Here's what I truly believe the NRA pretends to be. That's what we are. This is what I think the NRA really is. You don't care about nothing but yourself. It's the heart of the secondary market.